Watch out. Fireplace man, look. We were talking just a moment ago. I was in your fireplace. Monsieur, that was weeks ago. That was months. Really? Hmm. Must be a loose connection. Need to get a man in. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Okay, that's scary. You're scared of a broken clock. Just a bit scared, yeah. Just a little tiny bit. Because, you see, if this clock's broken and it's the only clock in the room, then what's that? Because, you see, that's not a clock. You can tell by the resonance. Too big. Six feet, I'd say. The size of a man. What is it? Now, let's think. If you were a thing that ticked and you were hiding in Thomas' bedroom, first thing you do, break the clock. No one notices the sound of one clock ticking, but two... You might start to wonder if you're really alone. Stay on the bed, right in the middle. Don't put your hands or feet over the edge. her brain. What, you crossed two galaxies in a thousand of years just to scan a child's brain? What could there be in a little girl's mind worth blowing a hole in the universe? I don't understand. It wants me. You want me. Not yet. You are incomplete. Incomplete? What does that mean, incomplete? You can answer her, you can answer me. What do you mean, incomplete? Just a nightmare, Renette. Don't worry about it. Everyone has nightmares. You monsters from under the bed have nightmares. Don't you, monster? What do monsters have nightmares about? Me! 